Hi everyone, I am back with another review. Today I will be reviewing a pair of boots I picked up. Here are the Guidi 788Zs. So just a quick disclaimer before I review this pair of boots. These pair of boots are in a pretty used condition. They are not the best. I do not have the box as well as the dust bags and I do not have the complete information for these pair of boots. That was why I was contemplating making this video for so long. At the end of the day, I would like to document this purchase of mine because it's still a wearable boot and also to help anyone who is looking for a pair. So here is a close-up shot of the boots. Like I mentioned, there is no box and dust bags that came with it. I believe these are made from horse leather. It feels really durable, it feels very supple and it feels very luxurious, if I would say. So this is a further close-up shot of the leather. You can see there's a lot of cracking, uh, surface cracks on the other pair as well. It's a bit more obvious and there's also a deep gash in the side of the leather there. So my guess is that he left this pair of boots in a very dry environment with a humidifier that sucked up all the moisture and he did not wear them for long. So when he decided to wear them, it cracked. Because there is no way that a horse leather could crack this bad uh, given the condition of the sole as well as the zipper, everything is fine except the leather. So for this pair of 788Z boots, it is thicker in terms of the outsole at the heel area as well as the forefoot area compared to other greedy models. There's a double stitching that goes at the back of the heel. At the back you have the iconic back zip running across made from Excella zippers. And on the pull tab you have the greedy branding. So Excella zippers are under the YKK brand. They are marketed to be the top of the line luxury zipper. I was actually very curious. I see many zippers being replaced on the greedy boot, especially on grilled. I see many busted zippers and uh, spoiled Excella zippers. So my first thoughts of it is that it feels very sturdy and it feels really high quality, but it is not the smoothest. It takes a lot of effort to zip it up and down. A bit of WD-40 would work for people who do not maintain their zippers. I can kind of see why it gets spoiled quite frequently. It has a very slim and rounded toe box. The design of the ankle collar kind of slants backwards instead of rising vertically. Opening up the boot, there is a leather flap on the inside to protect the zipper. The interior of the leather for this pair is brown. There's a double stitching throughout this whole piece of leather. You can see there's actually two layers of leather stitched together. Here's the bottom of the boot. He glued in a very thin layer of insole, so I cannot really remove it and show you, but there is a greedy branding underneath. The outsole is stitched on. You can see stitching running throughout the whole boot. For the bottom of the boot, you have the sizing number, and he added a continental grip to the outsole. As for sizing, I'm normally a US 9 Euro 42. For this pair of boots, I went with a Euro 43, one size up, and it fits great. But keeping in mind that there is a thin layer of insole on the inside, so you can either go through the size and let it break in, or you can go one size up. Take cover now. So that is how I style a pair of boots. I feel that this pair of boots look better with slimmer looking pants. Although I see um, other people rocking it with um, wider pants. But um, for me personally, I prefer slimmer looking pants with it. And also I prefer to show the back zip off. So certain looks, I prefer tucking in the pants. On a side note, these pair of boots are extremely easy to wear. And putting them on is a breeze and uh, it's just so easy and fuss free. So to sum up my thoughts and opinions about this pair of greedy boots, the leather is really soft and supple, extremely comfortable. It's one of the most comfortable pairs of uh, slim boots I've owned. The back zip detailing is really cool. Overall, just a really classic boot produced by Greedy. Definitely recommend it. I hope this video has given you the information you need on uh, purchasing this pair of Greedy 788Z boots. I apologize once again for the incomplete information. But all in all, I really hope that you enjoyed the video and it benefited you in a certain way. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day.